All right, guys, we're talking about your top 100. So um, this is this is really going to be helpful for you guys because this is not only just about building a list. This is also about enrolling people in what you are up to. So, you know, I know that when you guys purchased Fusion, it wasn't, you know, just because it wasn't just because like there was a reason why you decided to make this investment there. There's a reason why you decided that you wanted to go down this path. And in today's video and today's training, um, we're going to talk about um, building a list, but we're also going to talk about, you know, how you can have really powerful conversations with everybody who's on that list. So, um, Eric, you tell me what you want to do. Do you want to um, walk through the step-by-step uh, -step first, or do we want to tackle the, uh, the enrollment question first? I want, to, I want to just quickly go over this, uh, this list concept, and you can stop me at three sentences, Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay, approved. I'm um, just looking at it over here. So essentially, what you want to do is, um, so you can make this real for you. It's the idea like, hey, talk to your friend, talk to your family. No, no, it's going to be a lot easier than that. Just taking it step by step would be to write down a list of all the people that you know. Don't put any filter on it whatsoever. Just all the people. You could even like, you know, put your nephew on it if he's like seven years old, right? Just don't worry about it. Get all the people you can. And, you know, you may get 30 people, you may get 80 people. And then, Go ahead and then to go, you know, use your phone to look through your phone list if you can't find it. Anybody, literally. Once you make that list, you can start writing down, um, you know, the phone numbers and start calling them. Literally, it's that simple. Um, and then once you got those people, you're like, well, I'm not going to call them until I know what to say to them. And that comes to part two, Michael. Okay, cool, awesome. So let me um, let's um, let's show uh, people what this, um, you know, what this, uh, this looks like. And this is guys, uh, you can see my screen, Eric. Of course I can. It, I see a spreadsheet right there, yeah. Michael. So this is your top 100. So what we're, what we're looking to do is to create a list of at least 100 contacts. These are family, friends, acquaintances. We need their name, their phone number, you know, maybe uh, maybe an email, but uh, name and phone number. We want to get at least 100 contacts on this list. If you can get more than 100, that's amazing. And um, again, you know, um, I, I can't really emphasize enough like what Eric was talking about is like zero filter. You know, you want to basically think to yourself like, is this just is it somebody I know? And I know for a lot of people they're gonna go through the contacts on their phone, you know, from A to Z. And it could be as simple as that, you know, just taking the names and then writing them down. And, you know, zero filter, we wanna get as many people on this list as possible. Once we have that, once you have as many people on the list, and if, if you can't find them on your phone, um, check your social media connections, you know, so you can go on your Facebook, um, you know, you can go on LinkedIn and um, see how many contacts, just contacts, unadulterated, um, you know, people we could get, uh, we can get on this, uh, we can get on this list. Okay. And the idea here is we're not going to tell you to hound your friends, you know, and basically try to sell your friends or anything. Oh, like yeah, that. this is an MLM. Like this, you know what this is, really? It's like, imagine somebody was coming to you, was like, hey, I'm selling Girl Scout cookies, right? It's like, oh my God, I love Girl Scout cookies and I want to help this troop. It's like, there's, there's such an alignment of interests. It's like, yeah, here's the money. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's just like that. It's like the, all you need to know is that you're helping people because this is an incredible process of SEO and it totally works. This person chooses you or if they you know, choose to engage with you, they're going to have a very positive experience and get great results. And if they don't, it's totally fine. If they don't want to do it or if it's not right, like, amazing, move on. You get well, experience. You know, and, and another thing is that in this initial call, in this initial conversation with your top 100, some people are going to be business owners, but you know, I'd, I'd venture to guess that 90% of the people are not business owners. And so when we speak to them or when you speak to them, 
you don't want it to be just like, Hey, give me a referral. Give me like, you know, your, your, you know, your contacts. You actually want to share something with them. That's going to have them stop, pause, and actually be interested in helping you. You know, like that's the difference. It's not just like, Hey, do you know any business owners? It's what can you share with them? That's going to get them on your side. So this is why, you know, we started this video with this question of like, you know, why digital marketing? You know, why did you get into this? And, you know, I can tell you, you know, for my, for my own self, this is what like I might have shared with somebody. It might have been something like, you know, hey, you know, I recently got into digital marketing um, because I, I quit my job as an investment banker and um, I really wanted to, I really wanted to be my own boss and create, you know, um, freedom of, of, you know, for, uh, for my lifestyle or, you know, it could be something like, you know, what, what actually happened was, you know, hey, I, um, I started doing this, uh, this thing for my father and I saw it had a major impact for him. And, you know, I got really, really excited about it and I want to share it with other people, you know, like it needs to be like, there is a why of why you're doing digital marketing. And the closer you can get to that, the closer you can get connected with that, the easier you're going to be able to communicate that with other people. And it's going to make this process go way, way smoother. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me, let me do a couple of examples, Michael. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Michael Tessalona, right? This is my Michael Tessalona example. Hey, sis, let's just, let's call her sis, right? Um, actually, yes. Hey, sis, I just quit my job doing investment banking. And uh, I did it because I realized, like, I actually want to really help small businesses and start my own business. Like, that was always something that I wanted to do, just like dad. Remember, because dad sees a garage door contractor. And so I'm doing this, and I've already, you know, I've already done a great job for dad, or I've already done a great job for myself. And I want to help other people. Like, so who do you know, like, that you think that owns a small business that would want to, you know, grow their business? Or that's like, you know, always thinking about growing their business. Pause. You know, if I could pause you for one second, Eric, um, <laughs> That's you good. know, what I'm, what's coming up for me as we're, you know, we're going through this is, um, you know, like there, there was times when I was working at the bank where I would, um, I'd literally, uh, I, 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 I just felt like I was not contributing at all. I would go online and I'd read art articles like blog articles and I felt like whoever was writing this article had actually contributed to my life. You know, whether it was an article about, you know, how to cook a recipe or something about personal finance or, you know, whatever it is, I was health, whatever it was I was like interested in. I felt like I was reading stuff online. People were contributing to me. And then I felt like when I was in the office, like I wasn't contributing at all. You know, I was just pushing some papers around and I was getting a paycheck and that was it. And so like, I wanted to start a business because like, I wanted to, to contribute to everybody around me. And, you know, I'm really excited. I found this program that helps me do it. Sure. And so now this sort of like gives the lead in, like, if you have a conversation with somebody about that, it's going to be way, way different, you know, than, Hey, I just got into digital marketing. Like, do you know any business owners? Like you can go that, you can go that route, you know? but you're not actually having an authentic conversation with somebody. You're not actually like really connecting with them in a way that you could really enroll these people in helping, you know, what you're, what you're up to and what you're trying to accomplish. Totally. And what Michael's saying like that, he used the word authenticity, but it's kind of like a transfer of energy, right? So if you're like got rocket fuel under your uh, behind because you want to start this business and you have a purpose, right? It could be anything like this. Hey, I just graduated college and I was thinking, you know, like rather than getting some job working for someone else, I want to build something from the ground up, helping people, you know, who are the backbone of this economy. Like, man, if I heard a kid in college say that I, and they were like digital marketing, I'd be like, dude, let me give you the number of everyone I know totally. because I can get behind that. Or let's say, hey, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I've been a mom my entire life, like adult life. And I, you know, I just my kids are like, you know, 18 and like 16 and 21, like you know, I'm kind of like off the hook, like 50%. <laughs> you know, I want to, I want to start building my own business because I've been, uh, I've been learning about this digital marketing thing and, you know, I'm pretty good at it. 
just like, wow, oh, you want to, this is great. You know, you're going to focus. I'm, and I'm, I'm totally pivoting. I'm doing this right now. And it's really cool. It's like really awesome. It's funny. I, um, it reminds me of um, a story I heard. Um, you know, obviously, like I go through a lot of sales training and there was this guy who was selling something door to door. I don't know if it was like Cutco knives or if it was, um, I think it was Cutco knives. Yeah. And he wanted to buy, he, you know, it was like towards the end of the month and he had somebody who was interested in purchasing. And he said to the person, it's like, Hey, you know, if you, um, it was something along the lines of like, Hey, if you buy like an extra hundred dollars, you know, like right now I'm, um, I'm trying to break a record. I'm trying to break a record in my, um, for this month. And if I said that extra, before. If you're going to, if you, uh, if you buy an extra hundred, that's going to help me put, uh, go over. And um, the salesperson was, was explaining this story and saying how surprised he was that that actually made a difference that people like really wanted to help once they knew, like, like it's, it's what Eric was talking about. Like, that's something I can get behind. Like, Oh, I can help you break a record. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll do that. And so uh, you, you were going to say, I'm just makes me laugh because I, I actually totally forgot about all the times that I said that like I've talked to a guy. He's like, listen, I totally want to buy it. Let's do it on Monday. I'm like, listen, it's the 31st of the month right now. There's this guy sitting next to me. He's such a jerk. I got to beat him. And he's looking at me right now. If you just sign up today, it'd actually really be helpful for me. And they say, yes. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah. Or um, because people, because he like, he's going to buy anyway. I mean, it does. It's to them. It's just like people, you know, if they can help you and it doesn't cost them anything, then it's great. They want to Just give them now, a reason. Now, the goal of our top 100 is not necessarily to sell to our top 100. The goal of our, our top 100 is to meet other business owners. It's, it's almost like that game Leapfrog, where you're just going from one to the next to the next, and you just want to build a list of prospects. So let's um, share this script with you, and we'll, we'll walk. And, yeah, and Michael, and get really skilled in that conversation as well. Oh, yes. Right. So if you talk to, so you know, I have a, I have a friend of mine who's a, a professional uh, realist painter. And, you know, when he was being taught how to paint, he's like, this painting sucks halfway through. And his teacher goes, yeah, dude, you need the mileage, though. You need to, like, get the repetitions in. And that those repetitions made such a big difference in his career. And, and that's exactly it. You can, call, you can call 10 people, 15 people and have this conversation. Of course, you call that many people, you're going to get you know, other business owners to talk to and, you know, prospects, but it is like getting skilled in this conversation. And then what are, what are like the, the nuanced, more nuanced ways of having this conversation? Mm -hmm. So why are you doing this? So let's go through the script. So you've created your top 100, you know, these are your family, your friends, your acquaintances, got at least 100 names, do whatever it takes to get at least 100. You know, if you're an overachiever, get 300 names. So um, every day you're going to reach out to some of the people on your list and you're going to call them up and say this, you know, hey, um, I don't know if I've shared this with you or maybe you saw it online, uh, but I recently started a digital marketing business because, and this is where you fill in your why. This is where you fill in like, you know, what's the main reason, you know, why you're doing this. Um, and then after that, you say right now, I'm just trying to talk to business owners about what I do, even ones that aren't interested in growing because they might know other people I can talk to. Do you know any small business owners I can talk to? Long pause, long pause, wait for them to say something. Um, they're going to have some information. They're going to have some people, you know, or if they don't, what you would say is, you know, I know it can be hard to think off the top of your head. Um, my services are usually great for lawyers, doctors, dentists, plumbers. Do you know anyone or does anyone come to mind you may have worked with recently? Another long pause. This is actually the second part is something you can say even, at, even after they've given you a list of names. They might just give you a list of names. And at that point, you say, oh, wow, thank you. That's like, that's, that's excellent. You know, um, this usually works great for lawyers, doctors, plumbers. Does anybody like that come to mind? And then the final thing you want to ask them, whether or not they've given you a list of names, is what about somebody who might know business owners? So um, one of the things, uh, what about somebody you might know Somebody you might, some, what about somebody who might know business owners? Could you introduce me to somebody like that? 
So the idea here is that there are going to be connectors. There are going to be people out there, and this is going to be a great, they're usually very, very easy to spot. People who just have way, way more, uh, way more contacts than, than normal people do. Um, in that, bo- that book, um, The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell, he talks about this, how- Mavens, connectors. Mm-hmm. He talks about how like you have, you know, the average person knows X number of people, and then you have connectors who know 10X those number of people. You know, maybe they are people who work in a barbershop, you know, maybe they're a, like a barbershop owner, or maybe they're, you know, w- w- uh, work in a restaurant or, or something like that, or maybe that's just their personality. So we want to try to find those connectors. So what about somebody who might know business owners? Could you introduce me to some th- somebody like that? And the idea is that after you get, um, after you get, after you reach out to your top 100, after you build out that list, you use your top 100 to build out your list, your prospect list. So once you have a prospect list, what you want to do is you want to get the name, phone number, email, company, website, address. You can usually find the address just looking on their website. And after that, you're going to start um, reaching out to those prospects. Um, whenever you l- reach out to your prospects, keep in mind that even if they are a not right now, they may know other people who you can add to your prospect list. So the idea is that you're constantly you know, leapfrogging, you're speaking with people. And at the end of every conversation, you're trying to find out like, who do they know that, you know, I can use to build my prospect list. We already have a training in Fusion that talks about what to say when you're speaking to a business owner. So right now we talked about building your list, your top 100, and we've given you a script for how to reach out to people who are not business owners. If somebody on your top 100 is a business owner, you can use the other scripting for talking to business owners. And when you do, you know, build out your prospect list, use that, those other scripts to get an appointment with those, uh, with those business owners. Any uh, final thoughts, Eric? Yeah. The people that will give you names and connect you with different people don't stop asking for more. So there's an experiment that I used to do when I've coached a lot of different, um, different people in digital marketing. And there was once this exercise where you, uh, you call up a, a company that sells to, let's say many different dentists, they have a dental product, right? And you say, Hey, um, I know you sell a uh, tongue depressors to say, right. To dentists. Is there any, like I'm, I help the dentists, you know, get a lot more clients. Is there any like reputable dentist that, you know, that, you know, have a really good, healthy practice that would want to grow. And the person might be like, uh, yeah, you know, there's Tom. I'm friends with him, Dr. Tom. And then, okay, great. Anyone else come to mind? Like, oh yeah, well, there is, um, you know, Dr. Cindy. And then, and, and then all of a sudden you just keep there. Oh, anyone else? You just keep on saying that. And then they will say more. And it's the difference between having one or two people or like five or six people. It really, it's really fast. And the people, it doesn't cost the person you're talking to anymore. And it's not like you owe them anything as a result of it. It's just like that concept of just going a little extra push. Or Michael, you have that secondary script. Here it is, right? Is after the person says, oh, you know, maybe I do know someone who's a doctor or a lawyer. Then on top of that, be like, oh, all right. What about any other like business owner connector, like somebody who's in the chamber of commerce, right? Like somebody who's, you know, you know, politics, anybody, right? It's like, yeah, those are, those are great examples, you know? Um, And I was also thinking um, salespeople are great, you know, especially if it's a salesperson that um, works with business owners. If you know somebody like that, that, that's going to be excellent. It's going to be an excellent contact. Um, Somebody who uh, accountants, are really, oh, really good. Michael, damn, you're good. Because yeah, because accountants work with other business owners. So that's like the the type of you know person. That's the type of person who you, you would really want to to mine for. And you know what's what's really great is these are all the easiest conversations you've had, especially if you've really nailed down why are you doing this? Because you know you're you're not you're not coming at it for like, what's in it for me. You're actually giving somebody an opportunity to kind of like be on the path with you. 
you know? Yes. Contribute to both you and the person who they're going to refer you to. Totally. Right. It's what they say. It's like uh, ma- being a matchmaker, essentially. It's like, man, get the opportunity to like connect these two awesome people. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And don't, um, don't forget to do this with your closest contacts. You know, don't forget to do this with, you know, the people who are in your family, the people who you think um, maybe should have already introduced you to people. Maybe, the, you know, they just didn't think about it, you know, or, you know, there wasn't that opportunity for them. So that's why it's so important. Work that top 100 list and then use that, uh, that top 100 list and those conversations to build out your prospect lists. This is going to get you your first five clients. Bada bing, bada boom. Love it. I don't know why I said that, but it's important. That's great. All right.